My brother, Saran, was born three months prematurely. Here, you can see me excited holding him for the first time. But what I didn't appreciate at the time was the gravity of the situation. Take a look at the wires tethered to Saran's body. Here, you could see multiple wires that are going from his body to an incubator. These medical devices are very cumbersome and barely conform to the soft skin of a newborn. In Saran's case, the pulse oximeter sensor malfunctioned, and it reported strikingly low blood oxygen estimates in the weeks following his birth. As a result, Saran received excessive oxygen, which caused brain damage and blindness. Imagine how you would feel if you were in such a position as a parent or as a sibling. These painstaking events have set me on a journey that brings me here today. I want to share with you my dream to develop an entirely new class of medical devices that can blur the lines between electronics and biology. To get there, we must first look at where we have been. We have all witnessed the rapid miniaturization of electronics, from mainframes and desktops to smartphones and even wearables. These new wearables are a reflection of our daily lives. They mimic our every behavior. But they are still unnatural in their look and feel, and limited to capturing biosignals from your wrist. Your body is a dynamic collection of living tissues and organs. With every breath, movement, and muscle action, your entire body is emanating vast amounts of data through the surface of your skin. If we could create medical devices that become a physical extension of your body, then we could really harness and capture this rich information seamlessly from your skin. Now, if you can imagine building medical devices down to the thinness and softness of a tattoo, then we would build something very amazing. Here, you can see medical devices that could ultimately take on the shape and the size of a temporary tattoo. My advisor, Professor John Rogers, who's now at Northwestern University, began tackling this problem from a material science framework over 15 years ago. And together, we co-founded the company MC10, and we set out on a mission to enable biomedical translation of this technology. I'm going to show you now where we are in achieving that dream. Here, we've created soft electronics thinned down to the micro and nano scale. These soft devices can wrinkle, they can bend, and they can twist on your skin. If we could build these sorts of devices in the shape of tattoos, then we could create new classes of medical devices that are part of you. To take that discovery, we recently launched a radical new product called the BioStamp. It looks like a typical Band-Aid, and that's how thin it is. But the BioStamp is much more than a typical Band-Aid. It has soft, embedded electronics and biosensors that can measure your cardiac activity, your muscle activity, your motion, and even your blood pressure. It also can wirelessly transmit this data from your body to researchers anywhere in the world. But the technology provides so much more. By leveraging semiconductor manufacturing techniques, 
we have scaled up this technology to create low-cost, disposable products that can now reach millions of people worldwide. Working with the cosmetic company L'Oreal, we recently developed the first ever digital sticker called the My UV Patch. At under $1, the My UV Patch can inform users about their sun exposure without ever requiring expensive lab equipment ever again. One million My UV Patches have been deployed in over 25 countries worldwide. In the next part of our journey, we are now developing digital stickers that can measure and track your health in virtually any environment. These devices can now measure your heart rate and your respiration rate. They are disposable and cheaper than a tube of toothpaste. I'm actually wearing one right now, and you may not be able to tell, but my heart rate is a little bit higher than normal, as you'll find out. We see new possibilities going forward for soft digital stickers in the chemical analysis and composition of your sweat. Imagine replacing the finger prick glucose test with a low cost lab right on your skin. Your sweat contains rich amounts of information about your glucose, your chloride, your sodium, and even your hormone levels. We are now creating digital stickers that can harvest and route small, tiny amounts of your sweat from your skin pores. Millions of pre-diabetics worldwide will gain access to this technology where Technology is, normal technology has not penetrated thus far. Let me now bring you back to the beginning where my journey began following the birth of my younger brother, Saran. The initial vision was to create soft bioelectronics and that was a personal technological quest of mine. We are now using this technology to achieve something with much greater societal promise. And that is to empower millions of individuals with access to care from anywhere in the world. Thank you.